was going to type out an answer to this post and I decided uh, instead it might make more sense just to try to show how group actions and group conditions are designed to work. So what I've done is I've created a couple of example events here. One that says do something that works with a group action and the other one that says do something that works with a group condition. And then I've created a group condition and a group action. So here's how it works. First thing you want to do is create the group condition or the group action. So in this case, for group actions, uh, I've created just one action that says, it speaks and says an event has just run with a group action. That's all it does. Okay, so that's my group action. In group conditions, one condition uh, is created here. I said, if the days of the week are weekdays. Okay, so those are my group conditions and my group actions automatically they're going to do nothing and in other words you might think by creating a group condition or a group action that it's automatically going to apply to all of the events within a group and we could have programmed it to do exactly that but what happens if you've got an event group that's got 25 events in it but there are three or four events that you don't want group conditions or group actions to apply to. What do you do? Do you create a separate group just for those? Um, that didn't seem like a good solution. So what we did instead is we added a special condition and a special action to the event area so that you could invoke the group condition or the group action on a per event basis. Okay. So if I go up here to this event that says do something that works with a group action and I expand that, we'll see how it works. I've got if the time is 4 p.m. then set the conference light to on and then run the event group actions. So you have to create one extra action that invokes the group actions. Okay that's how we've done that. Now the same thing happens uh, or the same thing rather is is designed to work with group condition. So I've got this event that says do something that works with group condition. If I open that up again if the time is 4 p.m. and then the second row I've got and if the group conditions are true. So again this is the statement that in invokes the group conditions. Um, then go ahead and turn the light on. Now notice in both of these cases um, I am not using the group conditions and the group actions, right? So you can do this on a very granular basis. This gives you a lot of flexibility for using group conditions and group actions. So the nice thing about doing a group condition or a group action is you only create it once and then you can cherry pick through your list of events and apply the conditions or the group conditions or the group actions as you see fit. Okay? I hope that helps.